Bootle New Strand Station is a largely unremarkable station on the Merseyrail Northern Line. Frequent services bring passages to the nearby shopping centre, offices and residential areas. Although it seems mundane today, the station does have a small part to play in the history of railway architecture. The Liverpool to Salport line was opened initially between Salport and Waterloo by the Liverpool, Crosby and Salport Railway. Authorised on the 2nd July 1847 and opened on the 24th of July 1848. It was later extended into Liverpool Exchange in 1850. The line only retained its independence until the 14th of June 1855, when it was absorbed by the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, who, seeing ever-increasing passenger numbers, quadrupled the line between Seaforth and Liverland and Liverpool Exchange. The station was originally opened as Marsh Lane and Strand Road. This map shows the general layout of the station at the time. It had two entrances, one at Marsh Lane and the other at Strand Road. The increasing passenger numbers and the threat of competition from the Liverpool trams led to the Lancashire and Yorkshire electrifying the route as early as 1904. This picture shows one of those early wooden bodied electric trains. The four platform station was kept busy throughout the years from 1904 to 1939. Generally the platforms on the Washington Street side saw frequent services from Liverpool to Southport, while those on the Talbot Street side handled services from Liverpool to Aintree via Lineker Road and Ford. These tickets from LMS days show some of the local destinations. A small freight yard was also located close to the station on Marsh Lane. This lay derelict for several years after closure. A housing development now occupies the site. During the war, Liverpool became a vital port in the Battle of the Atlantic and consequently also became a major target for the Luftwaffe, with bombing raids to knock out the docks and the railway serving them. The most notorious of these attacks was the 1941 May Blitz that lasted between the 1st and 7th of May 1941. It was on the 7th of May 1941 that Marsh Lane and Strand Road received a direct hit, the platform buildings being completely destroyed and the entrances badly damaged. The station was patched up and reopened, but obviously would require new station buildings. Between 1941 and 1943, the LMS Building Research Committee were looking at ways to replace those station buildings destroyed by the war or in need of urgent replacement. What they came up with was a simple modular design that could be adapted for any situation. An experimental building of this concept was demonstrated at Queen's Park in London. The general structure was a welded stress skin frame. The walls were of vitreous enameled panels, doors and window frames were a greasy tropical hardwood that could be left unpainted. The various standard parts could all be adapted to fit any location. Those built at Marsh Lane were on the up Liverpool platform and on the Isle of platform. The platform on the Talbot Street side was never rebuilt. These new buildings, although based to those that existed before, were pleasant and comfortable. This modular design would go on to inspire future architects both on and off the railway. Many of these type of buildings we now see all around us, especially those built for the West Coast mainline electrification. The Southport line survived the threat of closure proposed by Dr. Beeching in 1963 and by 1968 the New Strand Shopping Centre had opened, and the station was renamed Bootle New Strand. Sadly, by the early 80s, the buildings at New Strand had become somewhat dilapidated, more due to vandalism than poor design, and were demolished, their replacement being glorified bus stops. The station was later rebuilt with a new entrance and better waiting facilities, though still basically just glass shelters.
Running directly beneath New Strand Station is a passageway linking into the new Asda Superstore. This very convenient passage was also once a railway, the Midland Railway's Langton Dock Branch. This freight only line ran from Langton Dock and connected with the Cheshire Lines Committee line at Fazakley North Junction. After passing under the station and Stanley Road, it dives into two single bore tunnels to take the line under the Leeds Liverpool Canal. This tunnel was known locally as the Half Miley. Today, this branch has been largely filled in though some bridge abutments can still be seen, such as here at Earlham Road. This is where it passed under Washington Street. Also, the top of the entrance of the half miley tunnel can still be seen near the car park of the little store. Local hauled freight continued to pass through New Strand Station up to the mid 90s. This freight traffic travelled on the North Mersey branch, which is now all sadly gone. The original station entrances, although now disused, do still exist. Marsh Lane is seen here, though it is now bricked up. At Strand Road, the entrance can still be seen. Recent tree clearances have revealed the old entrance and the subway leading to the Liverpool bound platform. The effects of the 2020 pandemic have seen a reduction in passengers using the station, as well as the rest of the network. But long-held proposals for the reopening of the North Mersey to both passengers and freight could see the station become very busy once again. <laughs> 